Hello everyone, here is a quick video on how to factory reset this BT Hub 4 or BT Home Hub 4.0 Type A. So I've got lots of videos on BT Hubs, how to factory reset them. This one is the variant of the Type A. Um, if you need Type B, it's basically the same thing, but I do have another video showing that if you do want to see the procedure specifically for that one anyway. I've accidentally pressed, as it is really easy to do on these, you can accidentally press the reset button or restart button easily and I've just pressed the WPS button while moving it around so ignore that that wireless light is flashing. To factory reset this, uh, in my example here I have uh, set it to a different IP address so this is 172.16.99.1 and over here is it pinging the what should be the normal default IP address of 192.168.1.254 for the BT Hub. So imagine that somebody's customized the settings, you've forgotten the password, or you just want to blow away all the settings and go back to default to test something. Um, here's how you do it on this router. On the back of the router, above the power socket, is a reset hole. Um, you need a paper clip or a very thin ballpoint pen to go into that hole and press it down for just over 20 seconds. So I'm going to press it for about 21, uh, maybe 22 seconds. So I do need to get into position and I will try and let you see what the lights do as well. So here goes, I'm about to press it now. That's been 10 seconds. And we should be about there. The broadband light stops flashing. I'm going to let go of that now. Uh, the broadband light stops flashing and this light on the front goes green, uh, which is the same uh, process that the BT Business Hub 5 does um, and some of the other routers. Then it'll start flashing, we've just got to wait for it to reboot. You can see over here it stopped responding to pings on uh, the custom IP address. It's still not responding to pings on the new IP address, uh, sorry, the default IP address yet. So we've got to wait for it to boot. Hopefully this boots up quicker than the Type B, but we will find out. My laptop can't see the wireless network. Oh, now it can. So that definitely starts up quicker. The Type A uh, Hub 4 starts up much quicker than the Type B Hub 4. It responded to pings uh, for one ping and then it will disappear, which is also the same thing that happens with the Type B and presumably will come back in just a moment. Actually, it does look like uh, the wireless dropped yeah there we go the wireless dropped so i just had to connect back and that's it that's how you factory reset this bt home hub 4.0 type a hopefully this video has been helpful to you if it has it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my youtube channel you don't need to have the video notifications switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help thank you very much